literally never failed at this. Not once. Here we go. Hmm. Perfect. As usual. the general. You will keep me safe, yes? Go ahead, defend! I have to be brave. Go ahead, defense!
Need something? What's that, fella? You want me to join you? Sorry, but my talents are already spoken for. Can't go traipsing off with you until I reconnect with... her. Lady I'm looking for is from the East Reach, like me. Joined some kind of militia, and started traveling the world, from what I hear. We're what you might call sparring partners. Or rivals, I suppose. Anyway, I ain't going nowhere with nobody unless she asks me to. And I seriously doubt you've got the clout to make that happen. Need something? What's that, fella? You- Sorry. Lady I'm looking for is from the East Reach, like me. Joined some kind of militia, and started traveling the world. We're what you might- Anyway, I ain't going nowhere with nobody unless she asks me to. And I seriously doubt you've got the clout to make that happen. I have been expecting you, Noah of the Alliance. Huh? You know who I am? I know many things. I see. So you're like a fortune teller? Strictly speaking, no. Rather the opposite. I see not what will be, but what has been. Traces remain, for those who can see it. So you predict... the past? The past lays the road that leads to the present, and travels thence onwards. Those who can follow its twists and turns may see glimpses of where it leads. In that sense, it is similar to predicting the future. But to answer your initial query, I am a spirit medium. Really? Now, let us be on our way. I'm sorry? You intend to lead the Alliance to victory, do you not? To do so, you must learn the locations of like-minded fellows, so that you may gather them to your cause. Nothing is accomplished in an empty room. With my powers, I can help you fill it. I do not offer you a choice in this matter. Having met you face to face, it is clear to me that you must be the victor of this war. So you're going to help us? I have already explained just that. Having anticipated this, my bags are packed and ready for the journey. Besides, that little girl needs our help. Do not worry. I know exactly where your town lies. I will leave for it at once. Yes? Do you want something? Yes? 
Do you want something? Yes? Lenses really do have a radiance all their own. Bet I could make this little butte shine even more, but I'd have to get my hands on a rune of. Hmm? What do you want? I'm busy, so could you come back later? Unless you happen to be carrying a rune of currents. Not that you would be, because that's just. Huh? Okay, hey, look at that. You've got one. I could really use that for my research. Don't suppose you'd let me take a closer look. Oh yeah, see? Check it out. This rune is killer. You know the way light dances on the water? It's vibrancy, it's power, and you can imbue all of that right into your lens. Speaking of which, which one of my little goddesses can I talk your ear off about today? I won't quit until I've discovered every last thing about every last room lens. Anyway, thanks for the save. I made the observations I was hoping to. Did you need something? What's your name? It's Noah. I'm looking for people willing to join the Alliance. Wait, you're Commander Noah? No wonder you came through for me. They say you found a primal lens. Although it really chaps my hide that the Dukes and the Empire are using it for nefarious purposes, if those rumors are true. You know what? I've decided. I'm going with you. Welcome to the ranks. Call me Codal. I eat, breathe, and sleep lens research, so I'm sure I can find a way to make myself useful.
have literally never failed at this. Not once. Here we go. Is this the right... Uh... I mean, this is the right place. Yes. Are you ready for the next step, Commander? Do it. A yup! Let's go beat him like a dirty carpet! They are certainly in for a surprise. We will win this time. I. You ready, Noah? I think Periel already took off for the palace. Let us review our strategy. We face a war of attrition. Unfortunately, Haishan was not built to be easily defended. Therefore, 
We must meet the Imperial host on the field and strive to buy time while minimizing our casualties. We leave this in your capable hands, General Cassius. His Majesty's troops are kith and kin to me. I'll not let a single man die in vain. I trust messengers have been dispatched to Norster and Kinan? They have, but neither will act until we prove our mettle, which is why this first battle is pivotal. Our enemy is a general both seasoned and clever, and he will not rely on superior numbers alone to deliver victory. We must whittle away at their strength now, then turn the war of attrition which follows to our advantage. Which is where we come in! Uh, right? Correct. We are counting on your ambush to throw the battlefield into disorder. Do not let us down, Commander Noah. We won't. We're ready. General Cassius, Melridge, Noah, pray bring us victory and return home safely. Thank you, Your Majesty. If my projections are correct, this battle may be over far sooner than we all dare hope. Projections? Mm. Reporting, sir! The Imperial Army has arrived and is forming up just where you said they would! Then we'd best get started. Are you ready, Commander? Let's do this. Ready yourselves! This day we fight for our homes, for our king, and for the future of our country! The Imperial Army's here. So it's war, then. I assumed their forces would throw down their arms and flee, rather than take the field for such a weakling king. Perhaps they found a more inspiring leader. Fortune smiles upon us this day, General Goldwyn. The honors of a battlefield victory are ours for the taking.
It is an honor for you to lead my vanguard, Lieutenant Kessling. I expect your rune tank to earn us a great many accolades. Um, about that, sir? The rune tank isn't really designed for solo combat. It requires a lot of infantry support, so... I was not speaking to you, soldier. Well, young Sian, what do you say? Will you fight for the glory of your house? As you command, sir. Hildy, Valentine, gather what troops you can. At once, Lieutenant. By decree of the Emperor, you may submit peacefully to Galtia's glory, or be crushed beneath her heel. It's time. Give the signal. Looks like we're up. Let's go! Force? Where the hell did they come from? Mercy Tactician Signal. Come on, boys. Let's honor our contract and show these imps the color of their own guts. An ambush? What impudence! This is the moment we've been waiting for! Advance! All forces! Attack! Shields up! Stand your ground! I will deal with this ambush myself! Are the troops holding up? We're ready to move whenever. So if you ask me, that move should be to turn and run. You forget yourself, Second Lieutenant. <laughs> the enemy has been sighted. Prepare to attack.
Concentrate your attack. Don't miss. Guys, we're gonna win, no matter what! yourselves together, you sloppy fools! His Grace the Dukes is expecting a great victory from me! Are we ready? Oh, yeah. She's in a great mood today. Enemy in sight, sir. On your order, Lieutenant. Attack! A healing life to ease all wounds! Tell the troops, I'm ordering a retreat. Some damn order! Now form up and prepare for the next! If you have finally regained control of your troops, General Chapel, then prepare to withdraw. We are finished here. What? Learning the true strength of our foe is victory enough for the day. It has not come without cost. But to persist further would only result in needless bloodshed. We maintain the upper hand and are in no particular rush. Additionally, the sun has begun its descent and I've no desire to fight in darkness on unfamiliar terrain. We will withdraw! Fine. Retreat! Fall back, you dogs! <laughs> Look at him run! Nice job, Noah. <laughs> you sure showed him, cousin. A victory on the Alliance's very first deployment! Let's not press our luck. An overzealous attempt to pursue General Goldwyn may end poorly. All units, fall in! 
You fought bravely and well this day, and you, Chris, thanks you for it. Now, we return to Harshon Triumphant. We did it! We set him running for the hills! And more importantly, everyone is safe. Is this victory real? I can scarce believe it. It is only one battle behind us, Your Majesty. The war ahead will be nothing to celebrate. It disheartens me that our ambush did little to face General Goldwyn's troops. He truly is the military titan, they say. Yeah, even I've heard of the guy. So I guess today didn't amount to much more than an ugly introduction. Let's not diminish the significance of forcing a retreat in our first battle. I've already made arrangements to inform the other members of the League, and trust the news will change their countenance for the better. If I may, who were those other reinforcements, and why did you not mention them? I'm guessing you mean me. Allow me to introduce Captain Bernard Sawad of the White Sands Mercenary Company. I reached out to him some time ago to secure his services. Oh, and if you're worried about the mercenary part, I promise you this. A Sawad never breaks a contract. You hired these sellswords, Melridge? I managed to divert some funds their way, yes. A bit from the Royal Treasury and more that was earmarked for the Studium and Archives. I figured the forthwith confiscation of Harlan's estate would sufficiently refresh our coffers. <laughs> well, I suppose I did give you my royal authority, but I'm still pleased to see you wielding it with such wisdom. Just do see the ledgers end up balanced, yes? Don't spare it another thought, Your Majesty. That's something I'm quite confident I can manage. Uh, yep, still incorrigible. <laughs> Something on your mind, Sane? Hmm. You're wondering what will happen if Eucharist falls, aren't you? Its downfall seems inevitable, considering the League's lack of unity. Just like Duke Saldrick wants, I bet. You're thinking about it again. In part. But mostly I'm just wondering what I'm doing here. I intended to make a name for myself and House Kessling as an Imperial officer. I believed that was the right thing. It's what I thought he would do. Your brother? Yes. But now I'm not sure about anything anymore. So where does that leave me? Sorry to interrupt the boy talk, fellas. Did I miss anything spicy? Look, we've all got them. Ties, I mean. Obligations. I know all about yours, Sane. Little by little, they tighten around your neck until one day you wake up and realize you're wearing a noose. 
All part of growing up, I suppose. At these times, the times where you have to weigh your friends and your loyalties and your future, these are the moments that tell us who we are. You're young. You feel like throwing caution to the wind and doing the wrong thing for the right reason. Well, do it. This is getting a little complicated and poetic for me, but I think I agree. Paul, Valentine, thank you both. Hildy. A messenger just arrived bearing urgent news from the homeland, Lieutenant. It's as you feared. What? How could this have happened? I'm still verifying the information. It's possible this is but a rumor. This is not some piece of idle gossip, man! You're telling me the Emperor has been assassinated? That is... Uh, yes, that's what I've heard. But all the more reason to swiftly complete our occupation of Haishan while we wait for further news. The late Emperor's decree still stands, after all, and His Grace the Dukes has not yet issued our next orders. The Dukes has not issued them. I... I mean nothing by it. Let us resume our efforts on the morrow. Rise and shine, Noah. The new day has dawned and everyone's gathered at the palace. Train up! Okay, then. I understand. I'll wait till I'm needed. Magic thriftfully. I'll give it my all.
The battle of attrition continues. Our ambushes in the last fight took a modest toll on the enemy, but we still remain outnumbered. This time, Noah's allied troops and the White Sands mercenaries will fight on the defensive line. Hold a keen edge out there, both of you, and be ready for anything. <laughs> if there's one thing the White Sands know, it's how to hold a keen edge. And your troops, Commander Noah? Ready to go. You darn tootin' we are! You'll find me in the kitchen when this is done. Preparing our victory feast. Do come have a taste, won't you? You Christians! Take heart from yesterday's victory! But do not take your enemy lightly! For he will fight with even more fury this day! How droll that they considered that a victory. They merely bought themselves another few hours to breathe. For today, it will all come crashing down around them. In the name of His Excellency, the Emperor. enemy is formidable. Don't approach them lightly. Tighten up, everyone! Let's do our 
best, guys! Another tough fight in our hands today. Our objective is to drag it out for as long as we can while minimizing our losses. Concentrate your attack. already but his excellency the emperor has been assassinated then it's true dukes aldrich is the man behind it i have had ample opportunity to witness the dukes's tyranny and have come to believe the invasion of you chris is not just therefore pursuing it would be a stain on the empire's honor This is not an order. Those who do not wish to follow me will receive no punishment. But on this day, I turn my banners in revolt against Dukes Aldrich. I fight to return the Empire to a just and righteous path. They're cheering. Your family's soldiers are true to their house, Lieutenant. They stand with you. And they're all fools. So what does that make you? The woman responsible for keeping fools in line, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Disarray in the Imperial ranks? What is happening? What does this mean? Look! It's sane! I do not understand what is happening, but I know a potential opportunity when I see it. Protect that company of turncoats! That company is under the Kessling Boy's command. The lad takes after his brother. A healing light to ease all wounds! The enemy has been sighted. Prepare to attack. <laughs> Take that, wimp! The 
enemy unit. Let's go get the next one! General Chapel, order your troops to withdraw. I cannot believe the great General Goldwyn would say such a thing. We must annihilate these pathetic traitors at once! No. What we must do is learn the truth of the Emperor's assassination. Until that happens, this war cannot continue. All units, fall in! We withdraw at once and return to Goldian soil. Yes, sir. But... but this is absurd! We need just win this one battle so I can deliver the news to Dukes Aldrich and... Do as you will, but I have no intention of fighting for your Dukes. I shall never retreat. My host is more than sufficient to handle this motley force. General Goldwyn's legion has stood down. But why? The projections appear to have come true. I assure you, Goldwyn's retreat is no feint. Something has transpired inside the Empire. Which means we can finish this here and now. I've... For the glory of the Empire! Land reactor stable! We can keep going! Initiating combat. We've destroyed the enemy battalion, but don't let down your guard. But... 
But I was to claim victory here. Me, for the glory of Duke's Aldrich. Damnation. Is it over? We did it! We saved you, Chris! Uh, we did do that, right? Indeed. Victory is ours. Oh yeah! That's how it's done, cousin! Well fought, Noah. You comported yourself with great skill. You might be longer for this world than I thought. I've protected my kingdom. And my king. The Imperial Army has quit our territory, Your Majesty. Our scouts expect them to continue withdrawing to the north. Then... we won? We won. That's... that's wonderful! Yes, thank you all so much! I owe a great debt to you and the Allied Army. Thank you for fighting at our side. It was a mutual effort, Your Majesty. You needn't shy away from credit, Noah. Our successes thus far are in no small measure thanks to you. Yeah, so we'd see a little swagger already. <laughs> I gotta agree. <laughs> we finally gave those imps the shellacking they deserve, and there's no harm in savoring it! <laughs> My concern is that I fail to understand what prompted Goldwyn's troops to withdraw. Oh, um... Huh... Was that some scheme of yours, Malrich? I fear I am as in the dark as the rest of you. However, I suspect... Perhaps I can shed some light on that. Sane! This Imperial officer and his people just surrendered to us, Commander. I had a feeling it would be you. A pleasure to see you again, Noah. Been a while, Lieutenant. So, uh, thanks for switching sides and all, but, uh, why? I harbor suspicions which have driven me to leave the Empire. Suspicions related to General Goldwyn's abrupt retreat. Yes. If you don't know, His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. What? The Emperor of Galdia? But why? How? Duke's Eldrick is how. While we lack solid evidence of such, the information we've gathered certainly raises the possibility. So that's why they all turned tail and ran. This Duke's guy must be a first-class moron. Way to make your move at the worst possible time, you dope. I will return to the castle on the morrow. Our troops must be reorganized before we can carry on to Norrister. And you, Melrich? 
Actually, I have received the King's blessing to make myself useful within the Alliance. If you are amiable, I feel I can respond more nimbly stationed at your headquarters. So you expect our battle with the Empire to continue? Oh, I believe it has only just begun. Duke Saldric's ambitions clearly extend beyond the Galdian throne. The invasion of Eucharist was simply a tidy way to displace the General for a time. It certainly is beginning to look that way. Goldwyn was ever the late Emperor's staunchest loyalist. Once Aldric sent him far from home, he used that time to sow the seeds of a coup. He's a ruthless and cunning man, and no mistake. But I dare say you may be his equal. It pleases me to have you on our side. Oh, I don't think I am the cunning one here. After all, you didn't hand your army over to that Noah boy for no reason. This has been your plan from the start. Yes. Well... Still, if the Resistance army was led by the Countess of Groom, it would invite no end of suspicion. Tongues would wag about my agenda, my ambition. But a commoner turned hero rising up against the Empire's tyranny? Now that's the sort of story that resonates with people. After all, who doesn't love an underdog? <laughs> so, what is it that you hope to gain from all this milady? Clearly not prestige. Clearly not. My wish is far more modest 